with Debian 12 just around the corner. I think it comes out in uh, two days on the 10th, I believe. Well, actually, it's the 9th now, technically, since it's past midnight. So in a day, about a day and a half or so. So because of that, I wanted to do a Debian video. I've never, I've never made a Debian video. I've actually only used Debian once back before I moved to Linux full time. Debian was the first virtual machine that I ever loaded up. So actually, I take that back. Kali was. <laughs> so it was one of the first VMs I actually used before I moved to Linux full time. So it was kind of my, it was the first, you know, when I dipped my toe into Linux, Debian was the first one that I played around with just in a virtual machine. Today, I wanted to show you the correct way of installing, I'm, I'm putting quotes around that because you're not, you don't really well, you kind of do. The best way to install Debian testing and start using Debian testing is by installing the base stable install. I use the net install. You install that and then you have to point your mirrors towards the testing or testing repos. So we're going to jump into a VM, install Debian really quick, and it's just going to do it's just going to be a base install. You don't want to install any graphical environment or anything. I'm going to just install just the base utilities, so it's just going to be a command line, and then we'll install a desktop environment afterwards, like after we uh, edit the config files and everything. So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna show you the install process because I'm, you know you know how to install a Linux distribution, but I will stop. I just want to show you at the point, at least what I'm going to do where you pick your uh, desktop environment, don't pick any of them. Just just have the system utilities checked off. This right here, once you get to this spot, you're gonna want to just uncheck this and GNOME, uh, cause GNOME's the default. Don't pick any desktop environment, just have the standard system utilities selected and then click continue. When this installs, it's just going to land you in a command line and that's what we want. It actually shouldn't take nearly as long since it only is installing those base system utilities. All right, so now you can see that we are in it. We are on the command line. So what we're going to want to do first is add your, because whenever you install Debian, your user is never, it's not put into the sudo, sudoers wheel or file or whatever. So you want to, once you get into root, you're going to want to do user mod dash capital or lowercase a capital G the name of the user sudo. Oh, just kidding. I got that backwards. It's going to be user mod dash a G sudo username. And now if we do a reboot, again, we're going to log in here. Your user should now that you're logged in, your user should have uh, sudo or access to sudo. And you can see by doing sudo app update Oh, that's right, because sudo is probably not installed. So you know what? So now I added my user to uh, the sudo wheel. You technically don't have to do that here. Um, you can just do this straight through switch user into any, then you can switch into the root user and then just do these steps from here. Regardless of what you want to do, if you're going to use Debian, you'll probably want to add your user to the sudo wheel anyway, um, but that's up to you. So the, so, or the, the file that you want to edit is etsy apt sources.list. But a good thing to do is actually to back up your sources.list config file. So you can go copy etsy apt sources.list to etsy apt sources dot list dot backup you can do or just type out backup it doesn't really back doesn't really matter um, just so that you have that config file unchanged somewhere else in case something goes wrong now you can go nano etsy apt sources dot list it's going to pull this up. Now you can see in the sources.list, it's pointing to the bullseye repos. What we want to do is change those to testing. And I got an easy little, um, I got an easy little command that we can do. So if we just hit X or actually control X to exit out of uh, nano, we can do, if you do sed dash I S forward slash 
Now the uh, the repos are pointed at bullseye, right? So we want to type in bullseye slash testing slash g end quotes. Okay. Space Etsy apt sources dot list. What this command right here is going to do is replace everything that says bullseye. So I'm just lazy. I could have deleted those two bullseye repos and just changed it to testing. We'd probably be done already. But I wanted to show you a little command that you could do. With said, you can actually pick the word that you want to replace. Like so you can see bullseye, it's going to take bullseye and replace it with testing in the file sources.list. Now you can do that, you could do another reboot just so that everything, uh, you know, all the changes take place. But there are a few more steps that you gotta do. You gotta do an upgrade and all that. Update, upgrade, all that stuff. Now if we actually cat out etsy apt sources.list, you can see now that those two repos have changed from bullseye to testing and even the security repos have changed to testing security and that's exactly what you want so from here you're going to want to do in you're going to want to you can log back into sudo put your root password in i'm just doing everything from root because it's a little bit easier so now what you want to do is run apt update it's going to run an update basically like what and the easiest way to look at that is like it's kind of syncing with those repos, right? You can see everything testing, testing security, and now you're going to do apt upgrade. Hit yes. This might take a little bit, so I'm going to go and grab, you know, a fucking Snickers bar or something, and then uh, I'll meet you guys back when this is done. All right, so now once that is all done, the uh, update and upgrade, you're going to do an apt dist dash upgrade now you're gonna let that run hit yes this one shouldn't take nearly as long all right now we are all done we're gonna do a root reboot one more time log in one more time all right, and there you have it. If we do a uname a, look at that. We are on Debian 6.1, and that doesn't even that that's not coming out until um, Debian 12. So that will be out in a couple of days. If you want to get your hands on that new kernel now and run a rolling release, basically uh, on Debian, this is how you should do it. This is the preferred, and actually, this is the recommended way from Debian. There is a uh, testing installer but that's not really it will install Debian testing but that's more so to test the installer this is the recommended way to install Debian testing if you watch any of my videos you know I run arch based distribution so I am a fan of rolling releases so I don't know maybe I might uh, in the future jump and try to use Debian testing for a while I have to learn a bit more about it, how they do like their security packages or, the, or their security updates and everything. Because I know there's like a, there's something like a freeze that happens where packages stop getting updated uh, and they get moved to stable or something. I have to learn a bit more, more about that before I actually make it my daily driver. Um, and I don't know if I'm going to, but that is something that maybe I'll do in the future. But you know what, to, uh, end this video let's actually do a sudo oops a sudo apt git install what should we do let's do gnome oh, we actually get a sudo not found so that means that we just need to install sudo so we're going to do su dash again put in the root password we'll do an apt update even though we just did it there shouldn't be anything yep and now we're going to do apt install sudo dash y. So now we should be able to exit, do sudo apt git install gnome. Put the password in. Oh yeah, this is a lot. How many packages? I can't even see, but over a thousand packages. Now, granted, distributions package their stuff differently. Like, what could be a thousand packages on Debian could only be three hundred on Arch or something like that. I mean, I'm not saying that that's an exact 
comparison, but they just package things differently. So we're going to install GNOME. That's probably going to take a second. All right, yeah, so that took, uh, that took a while. But now I can see up in there in red it says GDM is not active. So what we're going to have to do is do sudo system ctl enable gdm.service. Put in your password. And then do sudo system ctl start gdm.service. And it should just pop up. There we go. Look at that, Debian 12. All right, everybody. Well, that is Debian 12. And you know what? Now that we're uh, we're here, we might as well check out Debian 12 a couple of days early, huh? First of all, let's stop blinding my ass. So we can go down here and go down to About. You can see it's on Wayland. It doesn't give me the GNOME version, but I'm assuming this is 44. Or no, my bad. This is still 43. Uh, Debian 12 is going to ship with GNOME 43, so that's what this is. But still, I mean, it's way better than what was the other one, 40, I think. I hated the dock on the left and everything. The dock down below is a lot better. If we open up a terminal, we can type in uname a and again, there is Debian 6.1.0-9, so that is the uh, newest LTS kernel. But yeah, I don't know. I mean, I might actually try... I'm going to use this VM for a little bit. I know it's not uh, It's not going to give me the performance as, like, bare metal. But QEMU is a pretty good hypervisor, so I don't know. I'm going to check this out. Maybe I'll, uh, in the future, actually install Debian testing on bare metal. But that is it for the video, so if you enjoyed it, please consider hitting that like button. And uh, if you are not already, like a lot of you aren't, go ahead and hit that subscribe button because we have a bunch more content coming your way.